my gosh, this is like so, this is getting real. This is getting real. Everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another college week in my life. And this week's already up to, I mean, a great start. It's a great start because I don't know what was in my brain, but I fully was just under the impression when I woke up this morning, I had to get on to my 9.35 Zoom. And so I went to the living room, I went and got some water and a banana. And Delaney's was like, you're going to class? I was like, yeah, I don't usually have a class during the same time as me. And she was like, sometimes, no, I guess. Long story short, I have, this class tomorrow on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so I don't know what I was thinking, but I fully got up out of bed and I was like pretty comfy too. But it's okay, my bed's already made, the day has already started, so I love waking up early. -ish. Anyways, I'm gonna go in the living room and bring my Doing Well Daily. It's still on sale, link down below. I love it, it comes with a felt pen and everything to trace. I'm gonna plan out my day, and Delaney and I will like plan out our meals and stuff. and. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting week, actually, because tomorrow's Ryan and I's two-year anniversary, which is so crazy. I feel like I literally just met him. All right, let's see what today's is. If you aren't obsessed with your life, change it. Nice. This morning's breakfast because I cracked my yolk, so I had to improvise. <laughs> All right, guys, just had my breakfast. Having a little dessert, if you will, some blueberries. I'm doing some interview prep right now for our podcast today, Gals on the Go. We're interviewing Kiara Madison. I'm so excited. She's a YouTuber and she's also a pre-nursing student. She has some really cool stories that I'm really excited to talk to her about. Um, still in the PJs though, of course. So yeah, that's kind of the main priority right now. And then um, I just wanna kind of check in on all of my classes for the week and kind of see like, okay, is there anything major? I have like big things in my calendar that I put on in the beginning of the semester, but there's always these little assignments and stuff that I just wanna make sure I'm on top of everything. So I'm gonna go through all my classes on our like online portal and write down what needs to be done. And then yeah, Brooke and I are recording the intro for Gals on the Go. And then um, we're gonna record with Kiara. So big Gals on the Go day. That's usually what Mondays are all about. Gals on the Go podcast, if you guys don't know, I have a podcast with Brooke. It's amazing, it's so fun. Every Wednesday. And yeah, that's what we're up to. I've been using this water bottle a ton. I'll link it down below, it's from Amazon. It's just a 16 ounce, like looks like just like a normal water bottle, but obviously it's reusable. And I don't know why, I just, it's just really easy to fill up. And this is also the water bottle I use if I put liquid IV in it because the liquid, IV, the liquid IV packs I use are for like 16 ounces. But I just thought I'd share that with you guys because I really enjoy drinking out of this water bottle. All right, update, we have moved to my bedroom. Um, and once again, you guys are balancing on my hand sanitizer bottle. I like to do like my monthly goals. So my goals for March, last month, brain dumps onto paper get all the homework done by Wednesday if possible, real content, keep up with power walking, increase fruits and veggies intake. And uh, this month, I want to focus on YouTube a little bit more than I do Instagram. Not that I think I prioritize Instagram at all, but I feel like YouTube, I post twice a week, whereas Instagram, we're on our, we're all on our phones like every day, but like YouTube is like my life and obviously the podcast, but solo wise, I want to try some new video formats. So with that, I am filming a video, actually I guess it will already be up by the time you guys are watching this, but where I send a ton of DMs to my influencer friends and ask them to send me their favorite Amazon fashion purchase or accessories. But my other goals were only drink coffee when needed, if you guys noticed. Um, I didn't have coffee this morning. I've just been extra anxious lately for whatever reason and coffee definitely um, ties into that for me. I find if I have coffee and I'm also feeling anxious, that is not a good combo. I feel like a lot of people could agree. So I'm feeling very alert, very awake. Um, so I'm just not having coffee today, even though I love the act of making coffee. Might have to get some decaf pods. I did this a couple months ago too. I didn't drink coffee for a while. 
Um, I just only want to drink coffee when I'm tired and I need it, if that makes sense. Want to explore new workouts. I am getting a little tired of spin for some reason. I don't know if I've just been doing it for so long. I need like, I just canceled all my classes for this week and I'm gonna explore some new workouts, maybe just some solo stuff, some arms. Obviously I have to get my walking in for my walking class every week. And then my last one is be yourself because I've been just trying to be in tune with my most authentic self and I feel like that's really shining through in my videos for you guys. Um, so yeah, those are my monthly goals if you guys are wondering. My brain's just kind of going all these different places. I already wrote down all of my um, school assignments that I have to get done this week and kind of looked ahead. I have an exam in two weeks, so I need to start prepping for that for my retail planning and buying class. I washed my sheets yesterday. I'm trying to wash my sheets every Sunday, so we'll see how that goes. But now it is time to wash my clothes because I didn't realize how big this pile was getting. Alright you guys, I am doing it. I'm gonna pop my clothes in the laundry. We're gonna head to the gym. I'm gonna try and get um, some minutes in for walking and then uh, maybe do some like leg exercises. I'm wearing my Amazon leggings again because I'm obsessed. Link down below, $26. And then a uh, sports bra is from Lululemon. So let's go. I ended up just doing 30 minutes on the treadmill, like power walking on an incline because I got hungry for lunch. <laughs> and um, Brooke and I are recording in about 30 minutes, so I wanna like make sure I'm all prepped and just in a good head space. But um, I don't think I'm gonna shower because I can do that later and I really like these leggings, so, and I didn't sweat like all too much. Lunch food is not my favorite thing to make. I find it a struggle literally every time because, I don't know, you don't wanna like cook a whole lunch meal. All right guys, we're going to the grocery store later today. So but today's lunch is quite interesting. I have a ton of leftover rice um, from when Ryan and I made dinner and I have green beans. Ideally I would make rice and beans, but I don't have any black beans. So, oh my gosh, I need to put that on my list. Um, and then I was like, I need like a little something more just a little protein, so I'm gonna heat up a couple of these Trader Joe's chicken pot stick. A well-balanced meal, if you will. <laughs> it's random, I know, but it works. Oh my gosh, my dad's babysitting Finley right now. Hey guys, so I'm um, about to set up and record with Brooke. We're doing the intro to the podcast, which is where we talk about our tip of the week, our current favorite, and our biz of the week. And I just grabbed a kombucha. It's the last one in my fridge. Thank goodness I'm going to the grocery store today. Stand by, recording. All right, one, two, three. Hey, 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 you guys, what is up? Welcome back to Gals on the Go podcast. I'm Danielle. Welcome back to your favorite show of the week, I hope. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we just finished recording with Kiara and I'm just in the best mood. Okay, so I'm currently just trying to find some new inspiration for meal ideas for Delaney and I because we always do the same thing. And it's just fun to get your outside of your comfort zone. So I have like all these different Pinterest boards, like lunch ideas, meal ideas, healthy, yummy, I'm just gonna start this one. It's public, y'all can check it out, called Food. Like, just so I can just, cause I never go back to my board cause I'm like, oh, I don't remember which one that was in. So I'm just making one called Food from here on out. This one I'm really interested in. It's called One Pot Pasta. Also my Pinterest is linked down below. But I'm gonna show this to, Del to Delaney and see if I can sell her on it because, I mean, it has so much great vegetables in it and you literally just make it all in one pot. And I have my new Always Pan, so I feel like gonna work i don't really know that looks amazing all right buddies it's time for trader joe's grocery haul to come i'm just wearing the same thing and then i just threw on top this mayfair group sweatshirt because i love it guys trader joe's is busy <laughs> if you watched the vlog last week you know how much trader joe's stresses us out we also voluntarily choose to go to trader joe's on like the busiest time yeah oh my god let's see if they follow us back to our carts <laughs> All right, we're back. It's time for another Trader Joe's haul. Okay, let's go. 
get to work. Oh, um, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Delaney just said I'm embarrassing here. These are my amazing sparkling waters, the lime ones. They just relax me if I've already had my kombucha for the day. I already started eating these in the car because I got hungry. The Trader Joe's like snack mix, kind of like their version of Chex Mix, pretty good. And it's nice if you just need a little pick-me-up. Got more of the everything bagels to pop in the freezer and use as needed. Eggs, vital part to my life. I got broccoli, an attempt to have it like as a lunch vibe. Not just that, but like this and something else. Got a mozzarella log. One of our meals we're making this week. Um, you're gonna have to keep watching the vlog if you want to know about the meals. Baby carrots, essential to my life. Also for one of the meals we're making, I got some organic chicken. So we had to stop at Kroger because Trader Joe's was out of arugula and we needed that for one of our dishes. We're doing arugula, mozzarella, chicken and tomatoes for one night. Um, I got lemon juice also for that meal. Um, tonight we're doing the one pot pasta I showed you guys. So I got some spaghetti for that. I got granola to do my yogurt parfait. Hummus, banana hummus and pita chips kick. I got three cans of the black beans for lunch or if we just need like a quick dinner. Um, it's nice to have canned goods in general. You can't go wrong. Um, I got five kombuchas. Normally I get four, but I don't know. I was just feeling like treating myself. The last bag we've got here, baby spinach. This is also for the one pot pasta. I got three of these ginger shots because they're so good. They're called the no joke ginger. Um, two followers like tagged me in their stories today taking ginger shots and it was just the best thing in my life. So shout out them. I'm pretty sure they were taking these exact ones. Some berries for the yogurt parfait. We've got blackberries and blueberries. And then I always like to have these on hand because I always eat them. They're just so good for lunch. Um, I get the Trader Joe's bean and rice burritos. They're in the frozen aisle. And then I also am trying out this chicken burrito, which is chicken with beans, tomatoes, and onions. So a little different. I just ran out of these. These have been great for lunch or if I want to put on a salad, just the breaded chicken. Um, you just put them in the freezer. And there's three more kombuchas in there and then we're done. So. That was my little Trader Joe's haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna put this all away. In good fashion, I feel as if I should take a ginger shot right now. Cheers, people. Woo! -wee! We love a productive Monday. Putting my clothes in the dryer now. All right. Anytime we make anything Italian related, you know I'm playing some jazzy. I think we're gonna be able to use my always pan for this one pot of pasta, just showered by the way, comfy. So it seems to me I literally just put the dry pasta and I don't turn on the stove yet, put all the ingredients all next to each other and just in their own little areas, this is so beautiful. Add all of my ingredients and then add water at the end. Okay, this is just so satisfying to prepare too. Like, I'm about to add the spinach. Look how colorful and the music, oh, I'm thriving right now. All right, everything's in there. Gonna wait for the water to boil, and then once it starts boiling, I'll mix it around more. Hope this works. I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but I am a rabbit. I am actively just eating this spinach. Guys, this literally took like, like I think in total it took 10 minutes to cook. Once it started boiling, I just started mixing it all together. Oh my god, it smells so good. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday morning. It's March 2nd. It's my mom's birthday, and it's me and Ryan's two-year anniversary. So I FaceTimed my mom, talked to her for a while, FaceTimed Ryan, and we're going to see each other later today. He's studying for his test that he has tonight at from 7 to 9 p.m. Like, oh my gosh. So we're going to um, hang out after. But it's okay, because he has something planned that we're doing tomorrow night. So I'm literally so excited. I have no idea what it is. Um, I just took a shower. I had class this morning. Sorry, I haven't vlogged. Um, but yeah, I finally washed my hair. <laughs> it's been like five days. So I'm going to let it air dry while I do some work. This is my little fit for the day. Oh, there's Ryan's anniversary gift back there. I'll show you guys later. I'm just wearing this flannel from ASOS. CRZ Yoga Leggings. You know the drill from Amazon. My Air Force Ones. Delaney and I are about to head down to our apartment lounge to get some work done. I had a yogurt parfait for breakfast this morning. Yeah, happy Wednesday, hump day.
We just got back. We were there. It's four o'clock and we left at 12.30. So we were there for a hot minute. Still in this like tunnel vision moment where you're like sitting in front of your computer for so long and you're so focused in your work that I'm like, I forgot how to socialize a little. Lainey and I literally sat next to each other and barely spoke. Pretty productive. I'm going to do my hair and get all cuted up because Ryan and I are gonna hang out after his exam. I think we're gonna go get drinks or something. I wanna be cute because it's our anniversary. Oh, I meant to go to CVS and get a gift bag. Y'all already know what I'm having for lunch. Some leftovers. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you all what I got Ryan for his little anniversary gift. His gift to me is whatever we're doing tomorrow night that I'm so excited about. Obviously with anniversaries, it's more of like a thoughtful, loving gift, but I just know that he loves when I get him clothes because he doesn't really buy himself clothes and he always, anything I get him, I notice he wears a lot because he knows like I like it. So, and I know he's gonna be really excited about this. This is like a flannel shacket situation and it's got Sherpa inside and then it also has a hood, which I think he's gonna love. He already has one similar, but he literally wears it all the time. So I thought I'd get him another one and I love the elbow patches. I got it off of Amazon, it's this brand. And then this is actually kind of thoughtful, I feel like he loves eating with chopsticks. Sometimes we'll be at his house, we'll be here and I don't have chopsticks. He doesn't have like chopsticks that he got from to go. So I thought it'd be cool to get him this nice set. It was so inexpensive, but it looks so nice from Amazon with four um, chopsticks that he can reuse and wash. And I think it's, I think he's just gonna love it because he literally loves eating with chopsticks. And I got him a little coffee mug too. That's really cute. So I just don't feel like unwrapping it, but yeah, so that's his little gift. I have to wrap it now. All right, hey guys. So I don't even know the last time I vlogged, but I got ready. I Dyson air wrapped my hair. It's already like falling a little bit in the front, but um, did my makeup and then filmed the ending to my um, Amazon video. So that's why I've been like MIA from the vlog. Not that you guys would know. It literally goes from the next clip to the from one clip to the other. But um, that is why it's late or dark now. Um, I'm going to boil some rice. I'm in the mood for some rice beans and green beans tonight for dinner. Ryan is currently taking his test. I'm so excited to see him today. And yeah, I'm just gonna boil the water, make some rice beans, green beans, finish editing that video. And yeah, I'll update you guys with my dinner and what I end up wearing tonight. Here's the dinner lineup. <laughs> Oh baby, a classic meal. My favorite meal besides pasta. You guys, I am really out here doing the most. I don't do a lot of heavy editing, but I'm having so much fun editing this Amazon video, like putting little pictures of my friends in our DMs for this Amazon video. I think I'm almost done. So I'm gonna export it and then upload and then I think Ryan just finished his test. All right, here is the final fit. Is it that surprising? I feel like I only wear these pants or jeans if I get dressed up. This bodysuit is from Revolve. If it's still available, I will link it down below just because I love it so much. It's so flattering. It's great for the winter time because it's like cute and a little slimming, but then also it's got that sweater material, which I love. Leggings are the Commando leggings. They're my favorite. I literally wear them all the time during the winter and fall. The best. And then my booties are from Mark Fisher. Necklace I got for my 21st birthday from my parents. And then my earrings are Love AJ. And yeah, I'm gonna add this jacket from A Paris. And I'm just waiting on Ryan to come over. And then we're gonna go get some appetizers and a drink or two and just enjoy our night. Good morning world, it is a Wednesday morning and the sun is out, I'm a happy girl. Sitting here chatting with Delaney. And now I'm making some breakfast. I slept in this morning, it's incredible. It's 11 a.m. Oh no, I didn't even mean for that to happen. Got the bagel, got the eggs. Um, yeah, lots of work to do today. And then around three-ish, Ryan and I are headed to, oh my gosh, lady, you told me what we're doing. I'll tell you guys later. Sometimes I use this as a standing desk because I just get a lot done when I'm standing. So it's a big liquid IV day today because Ryan and I shared a bottle of wine last night and I find that liquid IV just brings me back to life. I wouldn't say I'm hungover, but I just like don't want it to hit me later. So that's why I literally love this water bottle. I'll link it down below. It's just, it's 16 ounces and that's what one of these packets takes. I use the lemon and lime flavor. And then I always add ice, shake it up. And then I take off this top part and add a little bit more water because it's pretty concentrated and it's really strong. So 
Yay! Okay, I've just spent literally 30 minutes trying to figure out a thumbnail and this is what I'm finally going with so I can finally post it! Alright guys, video is finally up. It is so dark in here because I haven't opened the windows. It's time to get my life together. I have a retail math quiz that I have to take before we leave and I also have a retail math homework assignment I have to do by tonight. <laughs> But I always post on Wednesday morning, so I wanted to get that done, so I wasn't thinking about it. So now I'm going to make my bed, shower at 2. We have a podcast recording with our guest for next week, who's a finance guest that I'm so excited to talk to. So we've never had a finance guest on before. So we've already done all the prep for that, so I don't have to worry. I just need to be there and chat with her at 2, and I'm so excited about it. Just showered, now all camped out, about to do my retail homework. Doors open, Delaney's over there doing work vertically. <laughs> and here we are. All right guys, so I finished my work. Oh, I can cross it off, the best feeling. Brooke FaceTimed me literally as soon as I finished and I did my makeup while we chatted and um, touched up my hair a little bit. I still need to touch it up a little bit more. About to record with Priceless Tay. I'm so excited to talk to her. She's literally 20 years old and created tap into it which is basically like a way to like learn about finances and she's just a cool gal overall and we kind of want to talk about you know building credit as a student budgeting we just want to ask her questions because i feel like a lot of people our age myself included don't know a lot about all this and we're still learning today's a bit of a hectic day because i have this and then i need to pack and then ryan and i are going to go grocery shopping and then we're going to fort yargo state park it's about 30 minutes away and ryan rented us a yurt i believe it's called it's like it's kind of like the treehouse thing we did if you guys saw it's like this circular thing lakeside like we have this our own little peninsula we have a bonfire there's beds in there obviously um there's like a little picnic table but the main thing is it's on a lake and i'm just like in such a need of being in the wilderness and kind of being away from everything just for a night so i'm really looking forward to it i'll take a couple of vlog clips somewhere there but it was just really thoughtful of him to think of something like that because normally I'm kind of the one that's like, let's do something, you know? So it was really cool for him to find that and be like, let's go. All right, it's like a beautiful day outside, but I feel like it might be a little chillier there. So I'm bringing this. <laughs> packs for camping in a Louis Vuitton duffel. Yep, I know. I just got this We're Not Really Strangers game, so I'm gonna make Ryan play that with me later. Here is my little outfit. We're gonna go grocery shopping and buy stuff to make like burgers tonight when we're there by the fire. I'm so excited. I'm wearing this little crop sweatshirt that my friend thrifted for me. Leggings and Nike Air Force Ones. I'm gonna eat some lunch and then Ryan's gonna come pick me up and we made it to Fort Yargo State Park. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is, I haven't seen the sunset since like ever. Okay, we're number three. All right, do you know the code, Ryan? Yeah, let's see. Let's check it out. Wow, this is so beautiful. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's warm in here. It is warm in here. Yay. And when you look up, we can actually see the stars. Oh yeah. <laughs> And then this is the back deck. Oh my gosh, this is so serene. I'm glad we finally made it. We got stuff for s'mores. We got some Chex Mix. We got, you know, the necessities. Get it. <laughs> we got hamburgers, grilling beans. I just love this setup. <gasps> Duckies. Hey guys, it's Thursday and the place Ryan and I went, ended up going to was absolutely so beautiful. Literally, we had this little yurt, as they call it, along the lake. It was absolutely gorgeous. We stopped at Dunkin' for breakfast. I got a croissant sandwich and some water. Kombucha is out. I'm hopping on to therapy right now. And then I'm gonna take a shower. That would be good for me. <laughs> Time for a little nap while listening to John Mayer. Oh, guys, we just saw our Trader Joe's guy that haunts us, so that's just really funny. We are headed to the UGA bookstore to pick up our cap and gown. Well, Delaney already got hers, 
but um, she accidentally said six foot ten, so her cap and gown or her gown's so long. But I'm we're headed to get ours now. It's a monumental moment. Oh my gosh, this is the most beautiful day in the world. The reveal, our tassels, my tassel's pink, her tassel's pink, and then Delaney's is red. All right, taking a couple pictures. I love my tassel's pink, actually. Treated myself to a kale slam on this little walk, getting my steps in for PE. Oh my gosh, this feels so surreal. I've never even like held one of these before. Like, does this go around the top, I guess? Front of cap, okay. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm so emo. Oh my gosh, this is like so, this is getting real. This is getting real. Delaney, things are getting real. Oh my this is so weird. Getting started with the day a little bit later in the sense of like schoolwork and stuff, I just kind of took the first half of this day, or really three-fourths of this day, to just pay attention to myself, self-care, go for a walk, therapy, and now I'm gonna head to the balcony. Delaney's out there doing some work. Before we make dinner, I'm gonna plan out my evening and tomorrow and just write down everything I have to get done before the weekend for school just so I can see it on paper. All right, what's it gonna be? The sun will rise and we will try again. Oh, I love that. So beautiful. In a doodling mood today, for whatever reason, decided to try and draw emojis. <laughs> it's very soothing. You can hear the fountain. It's nice out. All right, it is time for dinner tonight. We are making a really yummy dish my mom's boyfriend makes back at home. It's like an arugula salad with mozzarella chicken and tomato oh my gosh and this like italian seasoning dressing it's so good things are happening here we had a little assembly line i pounded the chicken she breaded it exciting stuff up in here yep we're literally just using this italian seasoning and then you add lemon juice yeah i'm so excited Delaney was saying we've really upped our game since last semester and I have to agree. We mixed the salad here. We've got lemon juice and the Italian seasoning dressing or Italian dressing, mozzarella, breaded chicken, tomatoes, mwah, amazing. All right, dinner's been had. Now we're gonna play We're Not Really Strangers. I'm so excited to learn more about you. <laughs> All right, so step level one. I'll link this down below if you guys wanna get it so level one is called perception so basically you draw a card and ask me and then I draw a card and ask you and then we go to level two level three alrighty you guys it's now 11 18 p.m. drinking some hot tea putting some stuff away in my room I study because I have a quiz in the morning at 8 a.m. and I'm just gonna get in bed and get all snuggled up see you guys tomorrow just finished my quiz now I'm getting back in bed but I'm actually going to read a little Trying to start my days more calming rather than starting them super high alert. I'm listening to some study beats on Spotify. I'm gonna read the book I'm currently reading, which is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I'm just going super slow through it. I fell back asleep. <laughs> Morning, you guys. It's Friday. Friday. Um, Delaney and I are headed over to College Square to get the last little bit of our homework done. I know I look so rough. My Aritzia ribbed jacket, tank top from Amazon for my Amazon video, necklace is from Adina's Jewels, leggings, the Amazon Lululemon dupe leggings, Falcon sneakers, furla tote. It's so beautiful outside. I'm soaking it up. I'm so thankful. And yeah, I have like four more school things I want to get done before the weekend. Alrighty. Alton's the town. Hopefully we'll find a table. It's so beautiful out. The sun, if it gets like 10 degrees warmer, we're going to the pool. Laying by the pool. But um, she goes, okay. Twist my arm. Twist my arm. <laughs> no spring break, so. But um, yeah, here we go. Another beautiful working day. The town is just alive. It's so pretty. You guys, I have a question. I was just asking Delaney. 
did you guys learn how to like type or did you just figure it out? Like I remember my elementary school, we had typing like games we had to play, but like my mom, she types like the proper way where you put your thumbs on the space bar, I think. But I just kind of like roam around. Like Delaney said, she, what did you say you do? For some reason, I have to use my right hand on the E, even though it's on the left side. So I like always go over to it, but I don't know. It's so just... interesting, yeah. It's all, it's all different. So let me know down below if you guys type normally or if you just like do your own thing and it just gets done. Cause I'm curious. We did it, we did it. We made it to the end of the week, yay. I just, I stayed there until I literally got all of my homework done. I do have an exam I have to take tomorrow, which is like, it's all fun or day, not fun. But I love you guys so much. I hope you all enjoyed this week in my life. I know it was kind of weird because I like had that, Brian and I went on the thing and everything, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys all so much. I have a really fun video coming up this Wednesday for you guys and I'll see you soon for our next video. Bye.